like uh, things that are very large markets or could be, but you don't know. Uh, I'm happy to talk about some of those kinds of things. Uh, beyond that, I should say what I don't like is a venture that has a 90% chance of failure. People don't like that when they hear that, but when I say there's a 10% chance, uh, and that's just math, of changing the world, that's pretty nice. Uh, so that's really uh, in, in some our philosophy. Mm -hmm. In my experience, venture capitalists tend to what I would call run in packs, or be a little bit like lemmings, all chasing the same next thing. How do you avoid that? And how do you visualize what you think is the unique next thing that's different from what other uh, venture capitalists are chasing? I, I would say, first, we don't do the usual venture thing. So we may be the only investment fund that can honestly say in making the last 100 investments, we've not only never calculated an IRR, we don't allow people to really look at IRRs. Uh, because if you have to bet on numbers, which are mostly hooky, uh, you, you, you're not doing the right thing. The market has to be large enough, the disruption large enough, that you don't have to calculate it you can feel it, which is an unusual approach. Uh, so we've never calculated IR in all, any of our investing, uh, which people find surprising. Uh, that puts us a little bit different than the back. The other, people, the other thing is people don't like our risk profile. Um, and so that helps us get away. Um, long time ago, when I was at Lina, uh, there was an area actually sort of, uh, Pittsburgh is an interesting place for me because when I was here, before I started Sun, Three Rivers was a big startup here. I was actually at CMU from 76 to 78. Um, and later in 80, I started Sun with the philosophy diametrically opposite of three rows. But probably more importantly, in 96, uh, when I looked at what was going on, four systems from Pittsburgh was very, very high. You could ask any major customer, which was the calculus, the AT&Ts of the world, and they'd say ATM was the technology that could bet on. And instead of saying ATM was hot, which is what almost every venture firm was doing, I was at Kleiner and doing a lot of telecom investing, and I sort of made sure Kleiner never invested in the hottest area, which was ATM. So we may be the only venture firm that never made an ATM investment, because I looked at the fundamentals. I said ATM can't work, even if all the customers are asking for it. And we started Juniper Systems, um, a $5 million investment resulted in a $7 billion profit for climate. That was just climate's portion. Why? Because we bet against the trend. And we bet against it, and it was hard because literally every major customer, then Dennis Verizon, Backbell, every major couple I asked, they said, they Never adapt PCPIP. I shudder to think the internet would be ATM based if Juniper hadn't started a PCPIP rubber company, uh, essentially an internet rubber company, because every telco was going in a different direction. But because it was a flawed direction, uh, we didn't bet on it. And so it wasn't following what was hot, it was following what was fundamental. Uh, a current example uh, that I'm following is I'm probably the only person in the VP, VC business with big data and Hadoop as sort of the current fashion. Well, I won't touch Hadoop. I think it's exactly the wrong thing, but everybody else thinks it's exactly the right thing. So we do a lot of fundamental analysis, and we do our bets based on our analysis, not what others are doing. 